Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 27th of November 1809, Englishman Theodore Hook orchestrated a practical joke known as the Berners Street hoax that brought the heart of London to a standstill. Theodore Hook was an established writer and composer at the time of the prank. According to contemporary sources, he'd made a bet with his friend, the architect Samuel Beasley, that he could make a single house the most talked about address in London. Hook chose 54 Berners Street, the home of a widow known only as Mrs Tottenham. Whether the prankster had any connection to the address or its inhabitant is uncertain, but he eagerly began preparing for the joke by sending thousands of letters to both businesses and individuals around the city. Hook and Beasley later rented a room nearby to watch the joke unfold, and at 5am on the morning of the 27th of November, the first of a stream of visitors began to arrive at Mrs Tottenham's door. The first was a chimney sweep, who was soon followed by about a dozen more. The roads around Berners Street soon became impassable as hundreds of tradespeople descended on the house in response to Hook's letters. Newspaper accounts reveal the full extent of the mayhem, that included wagons laden with coals from the Paddington wharfs, upholsterers' goods in cartloads, organs, pianofortes, linen, jewellery and every other description of furniture. Even dignitaries, including the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Lord Mayor of London, answered the call and came to the address. By nightfall, the police had been forced to close the road, while across London, Hundreds of pastry chefs, opticians, undertakers, wig makers, butchers, clergymen, dentists, brewers, and countless other tradespeople sought the identity of the prankster. Amazingly, Hook was never caught, but he won the bet. <laughs>